Welcome to Wake Out New Zealand. I'm Willow. And I'm Steve. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country. In the form of woolen graffiti, scientists have invented an invisibility cloak, we help them find it, and the latest weather update. But first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Jasmine. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Lockie. What made you decide to build this upside-down house? To defy gravity. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside-down? Try sliding down, sliding down the roof. What are some of the challenges of living this house? Try not to trip over the wooden beams. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Stephen Willow. Now, for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists haven't been having troubles finding it. The inventor says as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here's our reporter, Kaylee. Kia ora, I'm Kaylee, and here with me is Savannah, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So what made you want to invent the invisibility cloak? Well, I've always been a huge... Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? Of course. Whoa, where does she go? What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Nothing much. I just want to keep it and show everyone I meet. Well, that makes things very clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Kaylee. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime covering the country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Taylor with an exclusive interview. Thanks, Willow. I'm Taylor, and joining me as a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang, yo yo, Peyton, and thanks for joining us. Hi. What led you into the dark underworld of knitted graffiti? Well, I think that knitted graffiti looks really good around trees and lampposts. Nice. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why? Why not? Yes, I do, because I rob all of the wool shops and steal all of their wool, but I leave the ugly ones because I can't make good masterpieces out of those. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolings? People! <gasps> Thanks for your time. Back to you at the news. <laughs> wow. At least if they'll, they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with neither. What's in store? Thanks, Steve. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there will be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions. But those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taken a short holiday but we'll expect it to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. Now that's all from me. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Neva. Finally, it's time for two minutes with Bianca, who is talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Bianca. 
Welcome to Two Minutes with me, Bianca. Joining, to me, joining with me today is Brooke Bell, who has just been crowned the world's greatest liar. Hello, Brooke. What is the most outrageous lie you've ever told? Probably when I posted on TikTok that I, that I won the World Cup. Do you lie all the time or is it just when you're competing? You don't become the world's greatest liar by telling the truth. Are you lying to me right now? What do you think? Well, thank you for joining me. I'm Bianca. Back to you at the news desk. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Steve. And I'm Willow for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye! Goodbye.